Hey, welcome to the 10,000 subscriber video. There's not much more to say other than I am humbled, I appreciate you, and I love making the law videos. But I have been dreading this day. As you know, I promised on my community tab that once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I would tell my most embarrassing Diablo 2 story from my childhood. So kick back, relax, and let's just jump into it. So when I was a kid and I played Diablo 1, I play, I will, it kind of rocked my socks off. I've never experienced something with the devil in it before or an incarnation. Obviously learned that Diablo was the Spanish word for the devil and a really sick Lamborghini. Um, and it, it was something uh, of an experience. But when I was older and my friends actually got me into Diablo 2, I, I realized I was profoundly different to them when it comes to playing the Diablo games. In fact, most people I'm different to because I care about the experience and the story first and foremost. Even the developers talk about creating the original two Diablos and how it was gameplay first. And so seeing my friends run through, you know, doing bail runs and they could be playing as a, a baked potato as long as it had like a sick Tal Rasha set, like just gear. That's gear and grinding, gear and grinding. Me, I'm like, what about the story? What about, like, what's happening? Did you see the, you know, Tristram? What about the Griswold? He came back, this is crazy. They were like, that's cool, but how about some of that gear and grinding and multiplayer? So, I realized really quickly that I was different and uh, I was in a little bit of a bind too, because the first time that I played through like any game, that's an RPG, and I have to preface it with RPG. I want to play as somebody that kind of looks like me or I can project myself onto. So no, like no female characters or, or people that don't look like me or monsters, whatever. So if I'm playing like a Tomb Raider, I know I'm going in playing Lara Croft, I don't give a shit. But that really doesn't work well when you're playing Diablo or, or like a game that is not a customizable one. It's not an Elder Scrolls. So. It's limiting. So, you know, I go into Diablo 2, you've already lost the Amazon and the uh, Sorcerer, I mean Sorceress, because it's a female. So, again, only the first run, I want to play a kind of warrior type that I can have this fantasy that I'm a part of the world as a kid. And it was usually like an overly handsome paladin guy. So you're thinking, oh, Dash, just go to the paladin. This may not be PC, but he... Paladin, as you know, is of darker complexion and I couldn't put myself into his shoes. Later on, I just ran like Rhett Pally nonstop. But again, the first playthrough, I've got to envision myself into the character. So we're going down the list now and you're thinking, oh, Dash, well, you still got the Barbo. The vanity points were there. Like, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but and I, I'm genuinely embarrassed but he was too big and bulky and bald. And like my young mind was like, no, I don't want to play a big bald guy. It's stupid. I know I was stupid, but this is how my mind works. Again, I played all these characters later. It didn't bother me, but the first run through. So I landed on the necromancer, which is an old dude. But again, I know I should have just run the paladin. In a weird, weird way, I am almost promoting diversity because when you think about it, all the people who complain, there's nobody who looks like me in a game. That's what I experienced, except, you know, it, it's hard. There's never been a handsome white male lead in uh, today's media, you know, since the dawn of time. So it was, it was really hard being me. Anyway, I, I settled on the Necro. But in my infinite wisdom, I still like the warrior paladin archetype. That's what I usually play. So I say to my friends, who are all about grinding in gear, guess what? I'm playing a necro. They said, sick, you wanna you know, dump stats into XYZ. It was early patches, so you couldn't just you know, dump them into early stuff. You had to save up your skill points. I said, no, I'm not gonna do any of that. <laughs> they were like, what? And I said, no. Because I like the warrior, I'm going to go for a sick two-handed sword, because that's, you know, something I didn't get in Diablo 1. I'm going to get a sick two-handed sword, and I'm going to dump my stats into strength. Um, maybe a couple into skeleton mastery or raising debt. Oh, they, they were howling. They were like, no, 
you idiot like energy like you want to put it in that vitality you are not going to be able to play this game in in a bit you're not going to get past normal like you don't understand what you're doing and i was like bruh come on it's the Mac Daddy. I can do this. Give me the two-handed sword. That looks sick. Maybe one of those crystal swords. They look good. And they're just like, please, you, you cannot do that. And, and they're like, you need to, to use the wand. I'm like, wand, bro? And again, I've got something against wands and crushing weapons. So I don't like maces. I don't like scepters. When I, when I found out the pally used a scepter, I'm like, get out of here. I, I like swords. I don't know, you know, maybe I'm sick. I like to stab things, but I just don't like crushing. And I'm like, I'm not going to use a wand. Though the, the head and the jaw look pretty sick. So, I get my necro. I dump all this, like, the skills into low level. No, I put it in teeth. I know, this is early patch before this is viable. Because later on, I believe that you could actually roll teeth and, and necro and, and it would actually not screw up your character. But early patches, you couldn't. You had to save your mastery points. So, uh, so all the stats were in strength and teeth. My friends were in tears. They were just like, bruh, like you are demented. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Let's see how far you get. I think they carried me a little bit, but... I think I made it to act two, I believe. It was like Luke Galeen in the desert. All my hopes and dreams died. Just fizzled out. I think my necro died of old age. I was a laughing stock. I had to be like, you know, hat in hand. Tell me how to make a decent pally build because this shit is not working. And I don't know why that haunts me so much, but it does. just think about that necro and his stupid sword and just how hard and painful the game was. And then... You know, you, you can transmute or is it transmog in Diablo 3? I was just playing a pal, uh, Necro the other day. This this is what, like, jolted it in, in Diablo 3. So I'm rolling Necro. And then I, like, transmuted my wand or mace or something into a two-handed sword. And it was viable. And I couldn't believe it. And I'm like, are they catering to kids like me? Idiots that are like, I want to carry a double-handed sword. You know, like, <laughs> oh, look. I don't know, but that, you know, to all you hardcores, to all you stat jocks and, and uh, you know, guys that min-max and all those beautiful words that just go over my head while I'm sitting there looking at a tree thinking what the bark is made out of and where it comes from, it's law. That's how stupid I was. I got rolled. I should never have admitted it, but I wanted to, to be vulnerable with you and, and just, you know, enjoy the sillier aspects of gaming, how good Diablo 2 and 1 were story-wise and also gameplay. It really f had a great harmony for, for people who liked uh, games for both reasons. I really, really enjoyed it and, and the tone. And obviously I'm hoping that Diablo 4 harkens back to the uh, embodying the darkness as they call it. Embrace it, sorry. Um, that has been promised to us. But yeah, I just wanted to share this video uh, and have a little bit of fun with it. Let you know that I am going to be trying to keep up with my weekday uploads. If you have any suggestions or, or videos that you want to see from the Diablo series or other series, um, you know, in the RPG realm, I am, you know, always looking for ideas and I've just got a whole bunch from you guys in my last video's comments. So I'm like, that's sick. I'm very happy. So again, thank you so much uh, and I shall see you tomorrow 